All right, welcome back to my channel. Um, I've been away for a while, but I'm here to give you some gameplay of the new uh, limited time house rules. It's the Halloween, or rather most feared promo, but um, yeah, so I've been basically just focusing on weekend league, solo battles and stuff like that. Um, trying to get a new quarterback that fits me, and I think I finally found one. Um, I can say that with confidence. Uh, so I have Kurt Warner. Um, he's great because like I don't have to put Slot Apprentice on any of my other receivers or tight ends or halfbacks. So um, depending on my opponent, you know, on how he adjusts, I can just do whatever I want depending on his coverage. So right now we're going to get into a game. Um, I'm just going to give you guys... This is raw footage of the game. Um, I only played one game just to show you guys what I'm doing right now. So my receivers right now are Tyler Lockett, Randy Moss, not the full version of Randy Moss, um, and Torrey Holt. Uh, for those of you guys that have Torrey Holt, you know he's a stud. Um, he's also free, which helps a lot. So um, I have him as, as well. So. That's that. Um, I'm in 3-4 odd in this mode. I don't usually run my usual defense because um, right now it's just the, the house rules is built for playing aggressive, and that's what I plan to do right now. Um, as you can see, I'm not in my 1-4-6 dime. I'm just doing an adjustment, so if I do need to go to that, I do come back. But right now, I'm just making adjustments as I have some time. Um, while my opponent's doing whatever he wants. So right now he's in single back. Um, I can already tell this guy usually is a runner. He doesn't like passing the ball a lot. As you can see, I got caught on a D lineman, Lawrence Taylor. He's trying to throw it deep. It's not a good read. Um, Seahorn's there to pick it off. Now, I don't really know exactly what EA did at the patch for deep balls, but for me, I have streak specialists on my Terry Lockett and he goes and grabs whatever ball he wants so right here um i'm assuming he's in a cover three but i'm not too sure so i just throw throw my uh the ball to the wheel route just to see what play he's in um it's a smart move for those of you guys that you know don't know what you're doing or don't know what coverage he's in um so now i know he's in cover three i made sure of that and now I'm going to my favorite cover three beater. Um, I use this cover three beater all the time. It's always a su success. So right now I'm looking at X, I'm lead passing it to the left and he's just gonna go and grab it. Um, yeah, so I can't say enough about this cover three beater. It works for me every time. Right here in the end zone, I like to run tight end corner. Um, and I'm usually looking for my X or Y receiver, depending on whatever post or corner route gets open. Sometimes my A receiver, but I never really throw to my uh, my B unless like it's completely covered. I could have thrown him that time, but I got hummed at. I couldn't really throw throw anything. So now I know he's he's uh, covering the field, and now I'm putting a crosser on Y and a corner in X. So depending on what he does, I'm reading him. He's using the middle linebacker and see that right there just shows that the quarterback that I have Kurt Warner he only can make that throw I've tried using Vic I've tried using Andrew Luck um, you name it Troy Aitman even he couldn't even make that throw but because of the accuracy that Kurt Warner brings um, he fit it to the point where no one else can pick it off so I just had to bring you guys this gameplay. He's eventually going to quit. This is a, yeah, this is a really small game, but um, you guys can enjoy the rest of this. But I'm just saying for those of you guys that like to pass the ball like I do, um, I recommend you grab Kurt Warner. He's really, really good. Um, he's really expensive, but I promise you he's worth it. Um, right there, he threw an incomplete pass. And yeah, we'll just look. We'll just talk about uh, the patch that recently came on. So all of these abilities that have been going on, I've experimented with the Lumberjack. Um, 
I personally like Enforcer. A lot of people don't like Enforcer, but I still like Enforcer if it's unfakeable. Um, do not put Secure Tackler, you will regret it. Um, but I like Enforcer if it's unfakeable. And Lumberjack seems to work, but it's a little up in the air. Um, I think there's still a glitch on it, so I wouldn't invest your training on that. But um, yeah, so I recommend Enforcer and Unfakeable on all your abilities on defense. But yeah, that's just going to be it for this gameplay. He just decided to leave, so I'll see you guys in the next video when I decide to upload again.